There is so much news flow, and I want to get to what Chairman Powell spoke of yesterday, which is financial stability. Your Europe and your banking system is different. We see that played out today with Deutsche Bank, Danske Bank, and money laundering the other week and such. What does your Europe need to do to stabilize the banking system to move forward to the prosperity that you and Conrad and Adenauer and others knew from another time? Well, first of all, I would say we are in totally different universe in the U.S. and in Europe. In the U.S., the banks are not the dominant channel to finance the economy. It's the market. In France, the bank, in Europe as a whole, the banks are the dominant channel to finance the economy. And it was even, uh, it has, uh, I would say, we, we observe a certain rapprochement. But uh, at the moment of the crisis, it was 75-25 in the U.S. Mm -hmm. for the market and 25-75 for the market in Europe versus the banks. So uh, it's clear that the, the bank problem was from the very beginning higher in Europe than in the U.S. because, again, it was the major channel to finance the economy. Uh, also, you have to take into account that the efforts to recapitalize the banks was at least, all things being equal, three times bigger in Europe than in the U.S. So when we compare what has been done on both sides of the Atlantic, we have to take that into mm -hmm. account. That being said, I would say that now we have banks that are very solid, very strong in Europe. They are up to the requirement of Basel and uh, of the Financial Stability Board, but you still have a lot of hard work to do. That's absolutely clear in some countries. What do you worry about the most, Mr. Trichet, when you look at, and good morning from London, but good when morning. you look at geopolitics, when you look at uh, central bank normalization, do you worry that the market is not solid when you take away some of the extraordinary policies being put in place for the last 10 years? Well, it seems to me that we are still, of course, in a world of danger. And it was said by Chairman Powell, as well as in Europe by the ECB, when they produced their uh, last uh, financial stability review. Uh, mm. I would insist myself, I would stress the fact that uh, we continue at the global level, not only at the level of the US, at the level of Europe, but at the global level, we are still observing over leveraging, continuing augmentation of the uh, debt outstanding public and private uh, versus the uh, uh, global GDP, because I take it that we are in a global world and we have to take into account the risks at a global level. Then we continue to augment uh, overall leverage in the world more or less at the same pace after the crisis as we did before the crisis. The only difference is that the advanced economy augmented a little less than before, and the emerging economies augmented much more than before. The result is worrying in my own observation.